uh, this lecture is about speakers so the sound when it is digitized from the producer uh, is stored in a file on a computer and can be converted into sound uh, with the help of uh, DAC so the digital data is first passed through uh, the digital to analog converter where it is converted into an electric current uh, sometime uh, the current that is uh, produced is so small then it has to pass through an amplifier amplifier to create a current large enough to uh, drive a loudspeaker this electric current is then fed to the loudspeaker where it is converted into the sound if the sound is stored uh, in a computer file it uh, must first pass through DAC to convert the digital data into an electric current which can be used to drive the loudspeaker so when the electric uh, current flows through a coil of wire that is wrapped around an iron core the core becomes temporary temporary electromagnetic and it becomes electromagnet the permanent magnet is also positioned very close to the um, electromagnet over here uh, as the electric current uh, through the coil of wires varies the induced magnet uh, field is in the iron core also varies this causes the iron core to be attracted towards the permanent magnet and as the current varies this will cause iron core to vibrate since the iron core is attached to a cone uh, made from paper or thin synthetic material this causes the cone to vibrate uh, and produce sound so this is very simple mechanism the rate at which uh, DAC uh, translate the digital output into analog voltage is known as sampling rate if the DAC is a 16-bit uh, device then it can accept uh, numbers uh, between 2 to power 16 um, range that is 32,767 positive and uh, minus 32,768 uh, and the digital values which contain all zeros are ignored so all you need to remember is uh, uh, three simple steps and then they are when the electric current flows through the coil of wire that is wrapped around an iron core the iron core becomes temporarily electromagnet a permanent magnet is also uh, position very close to this electromagnet as the electric current through the coil uh, varies it uh, the induced magnet uh, magne uh, magnetic field in the iron core also varies this causes the iron uh, iron core to be attracted towards the permanent magnet here as the current varies this will cause the iron core to vibrate uh, lastly, since the iron core is attached to the cone made from uh, paper and a thin uh, synthetic material, this causes the cone to vibrate producing sound. That's about it. Thank you very much.